We're back in Forza Horizon 5 today. We have a brand new vehicle, but before that, I do want to hope you all had like a safe holiday season, I guess. We're still not there yet with the uh, New Year's just around the corner, but aside from that, hope you guys had a safe and amazing Christmas or holiday, whatever you guys want to say it. However, we're back in Forza. We're back. So let's check out the car. So we have the Lotus 340R from 2000 series. This thing has 177 horsepower. 126 foot pounds of torque. It weighs 1,485 pounds out of a one point liter rear wheel drive at 700 B class. So, this thing doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but it doesn't really weigh a lot. So, it's going to be quick nonetheless. It is a Lotus vehicle. It looks kind of weird. Just how Lotus usually makes their cars, they make them a little weird. We do have access to the engine. We have the Elise engine, which looks kind of sick. You have all the innards of the engine right there with the carbon fiber intake manifold, which looks amazing. Come back over here, we have a nice little spoiler. Love the headlights or the rear lights. They look kind of, uh, they sort of look out of place, but at the same time, they look okay there. That's a weird looking diffuser right there on the bottom, but that looks kind of cool. Dual outlet exhaust on each side, single tip. Hopping into the Lotus 340R, we do have access to the gearbox, which is a six speed manual transmission. Love that. Like the seats are not really that much of a bucket seat, but the there's a little bit of bolstering, I guess. Mind your ears for wearing headphones like me. I'm going to turn up the volume for a sound check of the engine. Three, two, one, and go. What the heck? Dude, this thing revs super high. Sounds amazing, though. We're here at Playa Azul Circuit starting the race in our Lotus 340R. See what this thing can do. Rear wheel drive. It is under the track toy category. I don't know why I'm in first person. There we go. Oh wow, we're against a lot of other Lotuses. Oh my god, the steering is kind of sensitive. Just a little bit. Not too sensitive though. Come on. Draft a little bit, draft a little bit. We seem to be like a full-on race of nothing but Lotus 340Rs. And that is interesting to say the least. This is going to be an interesting race. Uh, for those of you guys who missed it, I do, or I have been live streaming a lot of Fortnite recently this past couple weeks so if you guys want to jump into a live stream subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications this might be one going up tomorrow haven't yet decided but we're streaming with obese mode so if you guys love fortnite and want to check out some uh some cool stuff so hop on when i'm on <laughs> basically moving on to the third lap we're in fifth place trying to get into podium at least these cars are a little bit slow but i mean they only have like 170 horsepower which is insane but they do weigh a little bit. So 1,400 pounds is how much these things weigh. And they're pretty quick for what they are. It looks like a little go-kart, basically, um, instead of a full-size car. But yeah, it looks pretty sick either way. Get out of the way. Oh, God, he pushed me a little bit. Freaking AI, man. If I can at least get podium, I'll be absolutely happy with that. Being that this car is super, super light, it does handle corners pretty well without even needing to lift off of the throttle. Like, check this corner out, for example. Look at this. Full throttle around the corner. And it's like a perfect corner. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to take podium, though. We're in fourth place in its stock form, which I guess is respectable, considering we are against a lot of other Lotus 340Rs, and not one of them is upgraded. They are all in their stock form. It's time to upgrade the Lotus 340R, and let's see what kind of engine swaps we can throw onto this little freaking vehicle. So we have a 3.2 liter inline 6 and an inline 4 putting out 300 horsepower. I'm gonna do the inline six because it puts out the most horsepower and I'm going to turbo it. Just to give us a little bit more power. I'm gonna leave it rear wheel drive. We are gonna spin up a lot, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, let's do slick race tire compound. 245s in the back and a 245, is that 245 or 215? 215 in the front. That is unfortunate to say at least. You can make the wheels bigger. Rocking stock 15s, you can put 18 inch wheels. I'm gonna leave it stock because I like how it looks. Just like that. Coming over to platformer handling, coming over to brakes, we do have some brake upgrades to do. 18% efficiency, we're definitely doing that. We have, we don't have race suspension, we have rally and drift. I'm gonna leave it stock on race. And we have anti roll bars front and back. We already weigh 1400 pounds, so that's pretty light. We can still take out more weight from it, a minus 104 pounds. I would imagine maybe that it, what it's taking out is that second secondary passenger seat that we really don't need we are now putting out 760 horsepower we weigh 1440 pounds we're at s2 class 930 it's gonna cost us 73,000 credits to complete the setup coming over to design and paint options we do have factory color which is only one but if you wanted to change it up you could do some other colors and it looks to me like that little white portion is not going to change so 
the little like white portion right there with the black accenting looks pretty sick so i'm definitely gonna rock the black i think it looks really really nice like that we're back at playa soul circuit in our upgraded lotus 340r oh my god holy shoot that's a lot of wheel spin calm down calm down calm down calm down calm down bro oh dude this thing accelerates like crazy now oh shoot relax get out of the way thank you oh my goodness we are absolutely demolishing competition right now like we are passing everybody what the heck this guy like out of nowhere took like nos or something so it will spin out okay it will spin out in a corner so that needs to be mindful and a half right you need to be very very careful when you're going around a corner with this much horsepower 760 horsepower in 1440 pounds that is very very light power to weight ratio is literally like half that is insane oh god oh wow that was a that was a good corner we're in fifth place moving on to the third lap we are in fourth place the entire pack for first second and third is right up ahead i'm trying my best to catch up oh here we go here we go here we go the power is there man our weight power to weight is there but they have top speed oh god i'm gonna push i pushed literally second and third out of the way i had to take the inside line smack the wall a little bit there it's fine this porsche up here is going to give me a run for my money man Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Never mind. The Porsche said, like, oh, I'm going to break here. Dude, this Lotus is absolutely insane. It is pretty damn quick, man. The corner ability does suffer a little bit after, you know, fully upgrading it. But, I mean, who cares? The car is so fun to drive with this much power. And how little it weighs, it just wants to go. Dude. It's a little rocket ship. Holy shoot. Don't lose first. Don't lose first. Oh, there we go. That Porsche. I had to block it off a little bit. 117 around the corner pretty flat we're gonna take it in first place that is a definite definite upgrade from the like stock variant so we hit like around fourth place in its stock form we are now rocking first place and it's fully upgraded 760 horsepower form we're here at the highway gonna do a top speed run with the lotus 340r 2000 series three two one go this thing's gonna it's gonna wheel spin a lot so i'm not really gonna launch control it because it will just wheel spin Catch his grip later in third, going into fourth gear, trips the tires, going into fifth. We're doing 170, going about 180 now. Going into sixth gear at about 188 miles an hour. 200 miles an hour currently. And we seem to be slowing down quite a bit. So we're not really accelerating as much as we used to, but we're still rocking about 210 miles an hour currently on a flat stretch of highway. 211. 212. We're still gaining, but it's not fast, okay? It's not going to be the fastest car. I don't know why, though. Considering this thing ha does have quite a bit of horsepower, I would imagine this thing could go a little bit faster, be especially because of how little it weighs, right? 1,440 pounds. There's, like, no weight there. So I feel like 760 horsepower should be able to propel this thing maybe to about 250. I don't know why it's struggling to hit 213 or maintain 213. We're going uphill currently at 212 miles an hour. We're losing speed. 210. Here we go. Downhill, I would imagine maybe 215, 216 top, but I don't know, man. That's going to be kind of rough. It only has six gears. That's literally it. There's nothing else. 213, 214, 215, 216, 217. Come on. 217. Wow. Okay. 217, it managed to hit. However, again, I am a little bit disappointed because this thing does have a lot of power and a little bit of weight. I would imagine this thing should be able to hit 250. And it's not going to happen. Maybe with a tune. People that can tune in this game. But I really don't know man. It'll handle the first corner pretty well. 211. Drops down to 212. Somewhere around there. And then this corner which is a little bit tighter. Oh it handles it like a dream bro. 206 it drops down. But it handles that corner like a dream. Brakes are really good too. Look at this. Like that was some good braking distance. Final verdict for the Lotus 340. R 2000 series is going to be a definite definite cop it is super easy to bang this thing out all you have to do is come over here to the festival playlist bang out 20 points on the winter season and the lotus 340r can't be yours for those guys who have yet to unlock the huracan sto or do not have it yet here's your chance to get it once again 40 points on the winter season you can bang out the sto coming soon we're going to have some video voted events voted decorations some voted rewards i don't even care about any of that stuff all i care about is the new cars and that's going to be January 4th. New Year's is coming right around the corner. So hope you, hopefully you guys stay safe. 
mind your hands if you're lighting fireworks mind your hands and mind where you're pointing those fireworks so those things are dangerous okay uh just have fun but stay safe right anyways that's where i'm going to wrap off today if you do hope you guys did enjoy smack the like button subscribe for new all of that jazz and uh that's it thanks for watching try to make your day a great day